Hello, oh great nation of YouTube. Today we are talking about cars, 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 and more cars. And more specifically, we will be talking about sedans. Fast sedans at that. Now, if you don't know what a sleeper is, let's read the definition real quick. A sleeper is a car that has high performance and an unassuming exterior. Sleeper cars are so called because their exterior looks similar or identical to a standard or economy class car. First off on the list of sleeper sedans is the Chrysler 200S. Now this is a car that produces 295 horsepower out of a 3.6 liter V6, which is a respectable number even by today's standards. And that will propel this car to 0 to 60 in right at 6 seconds. Now an important note is you can get this car in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Now the front wheel drive only weighs about 3,500 pounds and the all wheel drive is about 3,900 pounds. But you can see how this could be a really sporty car. With that all-wheel drive, you can get traction all around, and it can launch you right out of the hole. And it could be a pretty respectable, pretty fast car. Not to mention, the all-wheel drive package is still under $30,000, and the just front-wheel drive standard package is about $27,000 new, which that is not bad for a car of this kind of performance. Next up on this list, we have the Buick LaCrosse, which that may surprise you. You may have never even heard of the Buick LaCrosse, which is why it fits perfectly on this list. Through a V6 engine, this car has an unassuming 310 horsepower. The surprising thing is, is that every trim level of the Buick LaCrosse features that exact same engine. So no matter what trim, you're going to get that good performance engine. Now the Buick LaCrosse starts at just $32,000 and the top trim level starts at $43,000 and that trim includes an all-wheel drive. All the trims under it are just front-wheel drive, but still, no matter which Buick LaCrosse you get, you're going to get a nice performance car. So the number three spot on our list goes to the almighty Ford. Now all joking aside, the Ford Taurus is a respectable car. Even in its base trims, it features a 240 horsepower four-cylinder or a 288 horsepower V6. But today we're going to be talking about the Taurus SHO, which features a beefy 365 horsepower twin turbo EcoBoost V6, which can propel this car to an astonishing 0 to 60 of just 5.2 seconds. And this is a 4,300 pound car, so it is not light. And that is quick. Certainly a fun car to scare your family in. Now the number two car on this list might surprise you as much as it surprised me. And that is the Kia K900. Now this is a luxury sedan produced by Kia that starts at $50,000. And it features a 311 horsepower engine, but that is not the trim we're concerned with. We're concerned with the top trim that starts at $60,000 and has a 5 liter V8 that produces 420 horsepower. Now this is a 4,700 pound car, so it weighs a lot, but that V8 still propels it to 60 in just 5 seconds. Now that is fast, guys. Of course, can't forget to mention that this car is rear-wheel drive. I'm sure a lot of you have already guessed what the number one car would be. And that, of course, is the 2017 Chevrolet SS. Now, this is an action-packed little sedan that features a 6.2 liter V8 and 415 horsepower. Also, this is the only car on the list to have an optional six-speed manual transmission. And this car also weighs under 4,000 pounds, so it can do 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds, by far the fastest on the list. Its base price is $47,000, so if you're going to get one of these, now would be the time because they're actually discontinued, but you can still find them on some Chevrolet lots. So now is the time to buy this beautiful little sedan. Now this concludes this video. Now before everybody gets angry, I know there are a lot of other sedans out there 
that are fast or even possibly a little faster than most of these. But in my opinion, these are the most significant ones that you don't expect to be fast. Also, I know it's now 2018, but it's close enough to 2017 where you can still get a lot of these cars brand new. And if not new, you can get one with just a couple thousand miles on it for significantly less. So thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. And if you like this type of video, let me know and I'll make more.